Disney's stock price has performed relatively well here in 2024. Investors are starting to get interested in the House of Mouse. Now, I've rated Disney stock as a top stock to buy in 2024. I made that recommendation on December 30th, December 31st. So investors that have followed that recommendation have made some good returns on Disney stock. But where could Disney stock price be five years from now for longer term investors looking beyond just 2024? That's what I'll answer in this video in this stock price prediction. So let's jump right into it. Let's take a look a little bit longer term. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so one of the numbers I'm gonna meet to make Disney's stock price prediction is the current share price. Right now, Disney's trading at $118 per share. Started the year around $90 per share, so it's up nicely so far year to date. Another number I need to make this stock price prediction is Disney's forward price to earnings ratio. Right now it's trading at a forward PE of 21.48, up from a low of around 16 forward PE it was trading at late in 2023. I also need Disney's earnings per share predictions for 2025 and the next five years. To get those, I'm gonna look at Wall Street analyst estimates for where they think Disney's earnings per share will be both in 2025 and five years from now. So according to their estimates, according to the analysts that are following Disney stock, they think its earnings per share will come in at $5.52 in 2025. You'll notice those estimates have been revised higher in the last 90 days. 90 days ago, analysts on Wall Street expected $4.81 for Disney. 60 days ago, that increased to $5.37, then $5.44, then $5.50, and the current estimate is $5.52. As investors are getting more information about Disney's prospects, they continue raising their earnings per share expectations higher. This is what I expected when I recommended Disney as a top stock to buy in 2024. I expected its profitability to grow meaningfully as the park segment continues to thrive and the streaming segment is making progress towards profitability. I expect those trends to continue for a few years more. When looking at the next five years, analysts on Wall Street expect Disney's earnings per share to grow by 19.12% for the next five years. Those are robust earnings per share expectations for a company like Disney that's mostly a mature industry, that's mostly operating in mature industries other than the streaming segment, which is still in growth stage. But the vast part of its business, its profit and revenue comes from mature segments like the theme park segment, like the media segment, which is actually in decline, that's offsetting the growth in the streaming segment. Still, the reason for this robust earnings per share growth for Disney is that the company is still recovering from that massive change in consumer behavior, going from viewing traditional cable television to now streaming. That transition has not been smooth for Disney. It's led to billions of dollars of losses in the streaming segment. And so as that transition takes hold and Disney makes that transition from a primarily cable segment business to a streaming business, its profits in that segment will continue to increase. And that's what analysts on Wall Street are expecting. All right, so now that we have the numbers we need to make the estimate, let's go ahead and take a look here. So for 2025, we saw that the earnings per share estimates were $5.52. For the next five years, analysts on Wall Street expect 19% earnings per share growth. When I apply that 19% earnings per share growth to the $5.52 in EPS, I get an earnings per share estimate for the year 2030 at $13.24. Remember, when I'm making a stock price prediction for 2029, which is five years from now, I need the one year ahead earnings per share estimate, and that's where I get the $13.24. All right, so if I apply a forward PE multiple of 21.48, where the stock is trading at right now, to this EPS estimate of $13.24 for 2030, I get a Disney stock price of $284 per share in 2029. Now, if you're paying attention, you will have noticed that's nearly triple where the stock price is at today or more than two and a half times where the stock price is at today, which would be an excellent rate of return for Disney stock given its risk profile. That's an excellent risk versus reward for Disney stock. 
But what if the forward P.E. ratio were to increase to 20, 23? That could mean the stock price could rise to $304 per share. However, there is also a chance that the forward P.E. could fall to 19. Still, even in that scenario, the stock price would more than double to $251 per share. If the forward P.E. were to fall to 16, then the stock price will still rise, but only to $211 per share, which would again still be a nice rate of return on Disney stock. So regardless of the scenario I have modeled here, Disney stock is increasing over the next five years. And in fact, you'll have to add a forward P.E. multiple of less than 10 to have Disney stock price declining over the next five years, a scenario which I think is highly unlikely given the improving business prospects of this business overall. Now, if you were to ask me where I think Disney stock price will be, in other words, the most probable scenario between all of these, I would say a forward PE ratio of between 21 and 23 is the most probable scenario. I feel an upward trajectory in its forward PE multiple is warranted given that the business is going to be in better shape five years from now vis-a-vis -vis the transition to streaming. It will mostly be completed, that transition to streaming, including decisions on what it's going to do with its ESPN business, how it's going to offer that for streaming. All of that is likely to be resolved by then. And so the multiple that analysts will place on Disney stock is likely to be higher given that the risk will be lower because at that point, those questions will be answered, whether good or bad, and there'll be lower risk after that. So given that and the rising prospects for the theme park segment, I expect Disney's forward PE to be in this range of 21 to 23 and the stock price to be between $280 per share and $300 per share in 2029. Now that would be a nice increase from 118. That would be roughly two and a half times the increase. And given that Disney is not an above average risk stock, I wouldn't say it's above average risk. In fact, given that the company's been around for nearly a century, roughly a century, its position with its customers, the brand loyalty it's developed over the decades and uh, multiple years, I think Disney stock is, it's cyclical to be sure, right? It goes up during good times and goes down during bad times because when people are losing their jobs, they're not thinking about making a $4,000 trip to a Disney theme park, right? But during good times, you see people making that trip. And regardless, during good times or bad times, I've never been to a Disney park that didn't have lines extending out at least 45 minutes for every single attraction. So those theme parks are full, regardless of good or bad times. And that means investors are likely to experience solid rates of return on Disney stock over the next five years. So this is my most likely scenario where I think Disney stock price could be five years from now. Did you know that over 90% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed? It'll really help support my channel if you hit that subscribe button. And oh, by the way, one of the benefits of being subscribed is that I take requests from subscribers more often than I do from non-subscribers. So if you prefer that benefit, please subscribe to the channel.